guys, who wants to get drunk and watch a horror movie from the 1930s? What, nobody? All right, well, I'll do it. Tonight, we're gonna be checking out a horror film from the 1930s called Supernatural. And no, I'm not talking about those guys. So I've never actually seen this movie before, ever, in my entire life. But uh, apparently it's one of Universal's Vault series, meaning this movie's a little hard to come by. You're not going to run into it at the local Walmart. Uh, I really do love old school black and white gothic horror movies, so I'm hoping this film really full sends that vibe. You guys know this routine. Check out that motherfucking trailer. Peep that shit, bitches, and when we get back, you guys are going to know my opinion on Supernatural. now than when they had her locked in a cell. Hammond wants our money. He murdered me. You are next. Ah! What's this? Alrighty then, I just got done watching the movie Supernatural. Um, when it comes down to old school black and white movies from the 1930s or the 1940s or even the 1950s, I know there's a lot of people, especially in this day and age, that just can't hack it. They can't hack black and white movies, they can't hack old school mentalities, they can't hack old acting styles, things of that nature. Uh, those individuals, I would imagine, are just kind of turned off by the whole being removed completely from that generation. And that's unfortunate because there's a lot to glean from older films um, in terms of being a fan of cinema. Uh, when I was growing up, I always found movies from bygone eras to be immensely interesting. And that's probably in part to my dad. My dad really wanted to um, have me and my brother watch things that weren't just from the 1980s and in our teenage years, the 1990s. He wanted us to see things, you know, from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And um, that's where I'm at today. I love watching movies from bygone eras and I love flying into them blind. The overall premise is actually kind of insane and slightly confusing. Um, on one hand, you've got this mad professor that wants to kind of manipulate and take advantage of these people with this pseudoscience that he's kind of doing with seances and things of that nature. Then there's this other subplot about a woman in prison and amending her sins and donating her body to science and <sighs> blah fucking blah guys I don't really know what the fuck is going on with this movie I've been drinking and it's weird as fuck that's all I can really say in terms of the plot mood wise this movie nails it on one hand it looks like a uh, film noir movie kind of a down and dirty hard-boiled crime film on the other hand it looks like some sort of spooky, um, you know, old school haunted house movie. There's uh, definitely some gothic elements here or there, but a lot of it takes place in the big city. And, you know, normally that can take the viewer out of creepy territory. So the plot is all over the place. Some of the cinematography is really good, but overall very murky. And if you're not into old school black and white movies, then the film Supernatural is definitely going to put you off. Um, but for me, I gotta say, um, not a lot of movies from the 1930s have grabbed me by the cojones before. This almost kind of comes close. It uh, you know tickles the old cojones <laughs> to a degree. 
And that's because it follows the tried and true formula of old school ghost stories. Like, I understood the motives, I understood what they were going for, even if some of it was slightly confusing. There's definitely worse films out there, and honestly guys, it's only about like a little bit over an hour. This is like 10 minutes longer than like an episode of The X-Files, so uh, there's no reason for you guys not to at least give it a chance. So, out of 10 stars, I think I could give the movie Supernatural, I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna say, I know I always straddle that six and a half, but that's kind of where I'm at right here, guys. Six and a half, almost a seven out of 10. I definitely want to revisit this one. I hope I've been informative, motherfuckers, until the next time. You know what to do. Tune in to Neon Motherfucking Trash. Now, if you guys excuse me, I'm gonna finish this drink. Yeah. Good night, folks.